Welcome to The Know. I'm Gray, and a group of AI researchers are working on that question that we've all been asking since at least, well, last week. Are we just the sum of our neural networks? That is, if we take a brain map and put it in a robot, is it a robot or an actual consciousness? And okay, that's a pretty major philosophical question that can't be answered in one little experiment, but it's the first step on our way to this dystopian future of altered carbon, or, you know, insert your favorite sci-fi here. It probably involves AI, they always do. Anyway, the researchers have, understandably, started small, working with the one millimeter long nematode worm, Cynorhabditis elegans, because it only has 302 neurons. The worm's full connectome, or neural connection map, was first constructed in 1986 and again in 2011. The Open Worm Project has since been working to build a complete software simulation of the worm, and project co-founder Timothy Busbice took it further by implementing an object-oriented neuron program based on the connectome using UDP packets. It's the connectionless transmission model commonly used as part of the Internet Protocol Suite. The software then works with sensors and effectors in a simple Lego robot. A sonar sensor is wired as the nose, and if the sensor picks up anything within 20 centimeters of the robot's nose, that information is then transmitted to the neural network's sensory neurons. And a similar idea applies to the 95 different motor neurons, which are mapped from muscles on the left and the right to the applicable motors. And while the robot doesn't look remotely like a worm, it now behaves like one without further programming. When the nose is stimulated, it stops moving forward, and stimulating touch sensors at the front and the back of the robot cause it to move forward or backward accordingly. And even stimulating the food sensor causes it to move forward in search of a meal that it can't actually eat, which uh, gets kind of sad if you think about it. You can never eat, buddy. Sorry. So while there are still plenty of questions, according to the researchers, this suggests that, as they say, the ghost in the machine is just the machine. Yeah, it's depressing, but what do you think of a robot that demonstrates instinctual behavior based on the brain that it's mapped from? Just the beginning, or is this the beginning of the end? Let us know in the comments. Remember, you get the best in video games, entertainment, and science right here. So make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel, and we'll keep you in the know.